After 24 years of waiting, a Nigerian finally got to lay his hands on the coveted African Footballer of the Year award and that came on Monday night as Nigeria's Victor Simen was named the African Footballer of the Year and of course that's huge, it becomes the fifth Nigerian to win the award. That is beautiful. Hello and welcome. This is Postrel on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority and Badi Adelaide. As always, we're at Mansa, the beautiful Moshuda Biola National Stadium here in Abuja. And of course, on the reel today, we'll be giving you all you need to know about yesterday's award, talking about the CAF Awards, where Nigeria's Victor Simen was the star man. And of course, we talk about other categories because Nigeria was really represented there. We we'll also bring to you the latest when it comes to leagues from Nigeria to Europe. And do not forget, we're back for the last match day of the group phase of the UEFA Champions League. We we'll also bring to you the MTN Super Falcon show, which is a regular on this show and many more. So stay back and relax as we give you all these on the show today. Once again, you're welcome. All right, let's begin the show with this good news as Nigeria's Victor Simen was on Monday night named the African Footballer of the Year. Come on, it becomes the first Nigerian to win the award since 1999, 24 years for that matter. And of course, it becomes the fifth Nigerian to also win it. And he did that at the gala on Monday night. So let's quickly show you how the award ceremony went. The player of the year for 2023, the most in terms of the votes that has been cast, is also from the beautiful country, Victor Osime. First of all, I want to say thank you, God, for everything. Um, special thanks go to Mr. Emmanuel Amunike. Without him, I don't think I'll be standing in front of you guys. I don't think I'll be standing in front of you guys holding the most, one of the most prestigious awards in world football. Um, it's a dream come true for me. I want to thank everyone that have seen me through life's journey in achieving my dreams, in achieving my goals. I appreciate Nigerians for their support. I appreciate Africa for putting me on the map, for encouraging me, for defending me, regardless of my shortcomings. Thank you so much. I also thank uh, Emmanuel Adebayo for his uh, encouragement. Solomon Kalu, I appreciate you. Every African legend that I've looked up to while growing up, that will inspire me. Can't forget DJ Drogba, my role model. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Victor Simon. Congratulations to Nigeria's Victor Simon, and that was really beautiful. Another thing for Nigeria to celebrate was that Asiza Toshuala made history by becoming the player, the first player for that matter, to win the Women's African Foot Footballer of the Year award for a sixth time. And she did that too at the award ceremony on Monday night. Let's say it. Best woman football player on the African continent. She's from the beautiful, beautiful country. You know, I can't see anyone. <laughs> Asisat Oshuala. Asisat Oshuala. Best woman player of the year from Nigeria. Congratulations. Dressed in her country's colors, the green and white, Congratulations. Assisat Oshoana, joueuse africaine. 
Ashi Sato Shola, Women's Player of the Year. I would love to thank everyone who has been part of my journey, from grassroots football to national level to club side. Because without you, my coaches, my teammates, there will be no me. Football is a team sport. It's a team game. And I'll watch all the federations in Africa to please, please come together. Let's work together and build our continent. We have to work together as a team because football is a team sport. Let's start at home and go to the world and conquer it. Thank you very much and God bless everyone. Yes. Congratulations, Azizat. Thank you. For winning um, Women Player of the Year, well-deserved trophy, of course, and a brilliant mind. And goalkeeper's nice. award. My daughter, Chiamakan Matezi. Nigeria. Nigeria is a women's national team of the year. Representative of the Nigerian women's national team. Winners of the national team of the year. Thank you so much. 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 What do they say again about Nigerians? Niger, no the carry last. Congratulations to all the winners, well deserved. Now, let's now go deeper when it comes to the world of women's football in Nigeria, as we bring to you today's edition of the MTN Super Falcon Show. Take it away. Congratulations to the Super Falcons of Nigeria and congratulations to every Super Falcons fan and a massive big up to MTN for the super support. Now with the tickets in the bag, 2024 Women's Africa Cup of Nations, here we come. Oh, what a way to qualify. 7-1 on aggregate. The game ended after a 2-1 away win over Cape Verde in prior last week. Hello and welcome to the MTN Super Falcon Show. My name is Oserame in Negbenebo and I will be your lovely host on the show that brings you all things Super Falcons from on and off the pitch. Now before we unpack all that we have for you on the show today and I promise you it's juicy stuff, let's go on this really quick break and we will be right back. Tell why it's okay, make it relax like it's your by day. Anything you want to do it on, if you do, I'm no need to delay. You no need to stress yourself, eh? You got that world in your hand. Living like a baby girl for life, make the people know. If you wanna buy your head time, easy access now one time. Everything back get there.
glad to know that you're still with us. Thank you for sticking with us on the MTN Super Falcon Show. Now, we are still celebrating across Nigeria that the nine-time African champions, the Super Falcons of Nigeria, will be joined by 11 other teams like South Africa, Zambia, Ghana, Morocco as hosts, Tanzania, Algeria, Tunisia, Botswana, Democratic Republic of Congo, Mali, and Senegal for the best of women's football in Africa mid-2024. Now, today on the MTM Super Falcons show, we bring you some sights and scenes of how the Super Falcons flew, saw, and captured the ticket for the Women's Africa Cup of Nations. This looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. Can you convert? Can you convert? Ball! 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 one game at a time. First, we want to make sure that we win this game to qualify. Then after qualifying, then we can go back to Nigeria and start to, you know, make our proper plans to play in uh, the Nations Cup. First, we have not qualified, you know, so we all, uh, we just have to focus first on qualifying, of which we did today. So now we have to think of the Nations Cup now. So, uh, yeah, take it one step at a time. This looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. Can you convert? Can you convert? The Super Falcons of Nigeria played all their qualifying games with so much grit, and that is why it's no surprise that they were able to secure the 2024 WAFCON ticket. We are super, super proud of them. Now, congratulations and thank you once again to Esther Okoronko and, of course, the lady with the blue hair, Rashidat Ajibade, for delivering those two phenomenal goals. Now, be it a blue hair or blue top, ladies with a touch of blue are always the prettiest. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, the conversation doesn't end here in the studio. It continues across all our social media platforms. That's MTN Nigeria on Facebook and YouTube. And it's MTN NG on Instagram and X. That is formerly Twitter. And of course, our very own pages across all social media platforms, Super Falcon Show. Remember that week in, week out, we're giving our freebies. Once you comment on our social media platforms, or just answer whatever question that we put on there. So you want to click that follow button right away. Now, the 2023 CAF Awards were held on Monday, December the 11th in Marrakesh, Morocco, with many of our stars nominated for the show piece. We want to say congratulations to record holder Sisat Oshwala, goalkeeper Chemaka Unadozi, and enterprising midfielder Deborah Abiodu for representing Nigeria at the awards. We are thankful, we are grateful for making us proud. Now we shall bring you much more details on all that went down at the CAF Awards next week. And with that, that's the much we can take for today on the MTN Super Falcon Show. Remember that this show airs at 9 a.m. every Tuesday on MTA. And you can also catch it on MTN's Ayoba app. Thank you to all the crew members working to make this show a phenomenal success. And also thank you to my producer, Tayo Ogunsheye. With that, my name remains Osereme in Nekbenebo. And I will see you, our lovely viewers, next week. It's bye for now. You're still watching Sports Reel on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority. Let's now talk about the Nigeria Premier Football League as we saw loads of interesting results on March the 13th. And of course, Kano Pillars lost 1-0 to Doma United. Remo Stars are back at top after recording a 2-0 win over Quora United. Niger Tornadoes lost 2-3 at home to Plateau United. And of course, Ayimba International got the bragging rights in the Abia Derby, beating Abia Warriors 2-1. So let's quickly show you some highlights and bring to you the full results and also update you when it comes to the standings. One beautiful thing about the Nigeria Premier Football League is that you cannot always predict the result and it's so beautiful. That is why we love the league. All right, let's still talk about one of the leagues in Nigeria, talking about the third tier league. That is the nationwide league one. As we had the Super Cup of the NLO last weekend with Tudumada FC beating Palm Syrups 7 2 at the Buari Stadium to emerge winners of the NLO Super Cup in Abuja. We went to Imo State, we, we, we can't champion, so I'm happy, I'm glad. We were already put it in mind that we are coming here to take the cup home. The last uh, NLO League, we play on beating, and uh, by God's grace, this time around, we also play on beating. We will not even play any, a single draw. The new season, 
I will done more better than this. And I believe I will go to the final and come back with the trophy. Quite interesting, and of course, the new season, which is the 2023-2024 season of the Nationwide League One, will commence on the 13th of April, 2024. And of course, that was agreed at the just concluded annual general meeting of the league body in Abuja. We are grateful to the executive committee of the country's Apex Football Organ for giving NLO a conducive environment for football to flourish. At, that, at the level. Now, let's talk about another Nigerian side, talking about Rivers United, the last surviving representatives of the country when it comes to the continent, as they got a 1-0 win over Club African in the Cup Confederation Cup, and of, and of course that was their second win in three matches in the group phase, and now they have six points out of possible nine. With three match days to go, the short stand a very good chance of qualifying. Now, let's move away from Nigeria and Africa and straight to Europe and talk about the top five leagues. Come on, Aston Villa are pulling weight in the English Premier League. Come on, what are you saying there? And of course, one must pity and, you know, empathize with the fans of Manchester United. Chelsea, and of course, it can put us now in the mix after what happened last weekend. It must be a very bitter pill to swallow for Chelsea fans at the moment. Come on, give it to Everton. And of course, when it comes to La Liga, Girona from nowhere are just on top, and of course, and of course, they are leading by more by two points. They have a two-point lead over Real Madrid, and they beat Barcelona last weekend 4-2. Did you see that encounter? Also in the Italian Serie A, German Bundesliga and the French Ligon. Interesting results there. So let's update you. The UEFA Champions League is back for the final match day of the group phase. And of course, teams are trying to qualify. One of them is Manchester United, praying that they win and also waiting to see if the result at the other venue will favor them. Many teams are in that position. So let's quickly show you the matches for today, which is Tuesday and tomorrow, Wednesday. Out is going to be an action packed midweek, especially with those matches coming up. All right, with that, we've come to the end of Sports Real this Tuesday. As always, I want to thank you for hanging out with us. Do not forget that NT Sports 24 is there for you on Star Times and Free TV for unlimited sports content. And you can always catch our new daily show, AM Sports, at 10 in the morning, weekdays. The next time I'll be on the show, just like I always tell you, be yourself and always stay out of trouble. I am Badia Adelaide and I will see you next time.